All right, gentlemen, welcome to Morning Coffee Talks. Cheers. Happy Saturday morning, baby. Hope you guys enjoying these Morning Coffee Talks. I'm just spit on myself. Anyway, first thing I want to say is day four, baby, day four, no smoking cigarettes. Going strong, so hopefully you never see me catch me smoking a cigarette on this bitch again, all right? First off, I'm going to talk about effort a little bit, all right, on here. And first and foremost, and then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of this conversation here. But um, effort, guys, all this shit takes is a little bit of motherfucking effort, all right? I like to tell stories on here sometimes about my life and stuff, so I'm going to talk about my son for a second. My son used to get mad at me sometimes. He said, Dad, you get mad at me. You say I'm not trying and stuff. And I said, yeah, because all it takes is a little bit of effort, right? That's all it takes is trying, trying a little bit, right? Putting out a little bit of fucking effort. So what is that? Effort is a vigorous and determined attempt, right? Motherfucking just try. That's what it comes down to. Just motherfucking try. Just try to be a good man. Just try to be a better father. Just try to step up to the call, right? Just try, man. That's all it takes, a little bit of motherfucking effort, right? Exertion, sweat, energy, labor, pain. These are fucking synonyms with effort, all right? A serious attempt, effort, hard work of the mind or body, okay? It just requires a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. That's it. That's all this is. Simple, not easy. You got to put out motherfucking effort, gentlemen. That's it. Fucking some of you motherfuckers ain't trying what the fuck. I've been there too. Me too. All right. But what we're really want to talk about this morning, give me a sip of coffee real quick. What we're really talking about this morning, guys, obviously we always talk about man being a man. To be a full man, to be a true man, and uh, it's, it's a lifetime of work. All right. But this is what it comes down to. First off, like I always sound here. The only man that you really need to follow and that I follow and that I'm trying to be like is Jesus Christ. All right. That's it. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's it. And it comes down to this being selfless. That's it. And it all has to do with our egos. All right, gentlemen, this is what it comes down to. This is the way to, I believe everything. This is the cure to everything. This is everything right here. What I'm about to tell you. Honestly, I should never have to do another motherfucking video again after this motherfucking video because I'm about to break this shit the fuck down right the fuck now. So take out your motherfucking notepad, take out your motherfucking pen, or put it on your motherfucking mind because we're about to go the fuck in right here, all right? Your ego, my ego, me, me, motherfucking me, right? That's all it's about is me. It's always been me, 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 little fucking boy, right? And I do believe, actually I don't believe, these are facts. I believe these to be facts. All right, a man, when you become a father, that is the first step, I believe, one of the first steps anyway, in letting go of your ego, right? Because it ain't about you anymore. When you're married, actually maybe when you're married, when you're a father, when you become a father, any of those things, it's not about you. It shouldn't be about you anyway. It should be about those other motherfucking people, your family, the ones that you chose Right? You chose that wife. You chose that woman to be the mother of your kids. You chose to have children. They didn't choose to come in this world. You fucking chose that. Right? So selfless. That's what Jesus was, was selfless, gentlemen. At some point in our lives, hopefully we get there. I don't know. I don't know if it ever is ever going to occur to me. I'm working on it. Is letting go of that ego. Right? It's hard. It's freaking unbelievably hard, gentlemen. I know this. When I'm on these workouts sometimes and motherfuckers are talking shit, right, and they're running their mouth at me, guess what? I wouldn't say nothing back if I wasn't in my ego because it wouldn't matter. I'd let that shit brush right off me. And we're working every day, like we say, a work in progress over here. But, gentlemen, this is what it all comes down to. This is what we're put here for, right? When we say doing God's will, not my will be done, but God's will be done, right? That's what it all is. You got to get rid of that ego. How, if we have that ego so far, if we're so far in our ego, we, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to happen. We're never going to do God's will because we're, we're too into me, right? When it should be portrayed out, it should be about them, not me, right? My life is not about me. It's about what I can do and how much I can do for others and serving others. That's what it's about, gentlemen. That's it. That is everything that we talk about on here. It's about being selfless. 
not being selfish. That is a little boy. A little boy is selfish. A real, true man is selfless. Right? Like these cigarettes I was smoking. That's selfish. That's about me. That's me, me, me. Right? I got a lot of flaws. I got a lot of shit I got to work on. Me fucking too. But we're over here working. We're trying. Right? We're putting in effort, as we say. See how we always revert back? All this shit goes one together with each other, man. And we are at motherfucking war. And I keep bringing this up because we are at war. And you are on the front motherfucking line. Because they don't want us to be men. They don't want us to be these selfless motherfuckers. They want us to be selfish little boys. They don't want us to be the leaders, protectors, and providers for our motherfucking families, gentlemen. Think I come on here for my motherfucking health? To talk to you motherfuckers about this shit? No. Because I know that it needs, shit needs to fucking change. And if I ain't going to be about it, who the fuck's going to be about it? We all got to be about it. But somebody's got to step the fuck up. Fuck it. I'll sign me the fuck up. Here we go. That's what it's about. Being an instrument for God. And the only way you can do that is by being selfless and get rid of that ego, gentlemen. That is the only fucking way that this works. And we got to break that motherfucker down day by day. And sometimes it's going to come right back. Bam, our ego is right back in it hard. I get it, dude. Me fucking too. But now that we're aware, when you're aware of it, bam, that helps break that down. All right, now I'm aware of it. Now I was aware, ah, oh, man, I was in my ego. Ah, fucking ego. Get the fuck out of here. You understand what I'm saying, guys? Do you feel me on this? Because this is it. This is everything right here. It's that motherfucking ego. If someone's running their mouth to you, it shouldn't matter. If someone says something that negative to you that you don't like, it shouldn't matter. That's where that ego comes in. Because if you weren't in your ego, it wouldn't matter. You can brush it off. Ah, who cares? Right? And sometimes I'm good at that. Other times I'm fucking terrible at it. Right? Oh, I'm fucking terrible at it sometimes. Ah, uh, it sucks. It's hard, man. Like we say, all this shit is simple, not motherfucking easy, gentlemen. Simple, not easy, man. No one said anything that we are going to do on this earth is supposed to be motherfucking easy. Again, like we say, boys want easy, men embrace difficulty. This shit is difficult. But you got to embrace this shit. Right? We got to fucking, we got to change, man. We got to fucking be about it. We got to be selfless. We got to be, man. We got to start being more selfless. We got to realize this ain't about us, man. It is not about what the, f that's where our feelings come in. I don't feel that way. Who gives a fuck how you feel? That's again, your ego. I don't feel, that doesn't make me feel good. No one fucking cares, man. We got to get over our fucking feelings, them fucking feelings we have. Right now, I'm not talking about like when you're sad and you cry, right? Because someone passed away, because um, you got some hurt shit going on. That's okay. It's okay. To, I cry every day. I'm talking about your feelings when you get mad, when you're angry because somebody said something or did something that you didn't motherfucking like. That's what I'm talking about here, gentlemen. So a little food for thought for that ass this morning. You understand me? You understand what I'm saying on here? All this shit takes effort, man. Effort, 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 man. Put in the fucking work. That's why we get up every day and we get these fucking burpee workouts in, these fucking hard-ass calisthenic workouts at 4 fucking a.m. Because we're putting in the work, right? We meditate and we read and we fucking say our prayers, right? We put in all kinds of work. Dude, I put in so much work before 7 a.m., most of you motherfuckers wouldn't have a clue, right? I fucking done read for 20 minutes. I done, uh, I done read for 20 minutes every morning. I done meditated for 20 minutes. I done said my prayers. I done got my workout in. I done made my bed this morning. It's fucking what, low after 6 a.m.? I done fucking loaded and unloaded the dishwasher, worked out, got a shower, read, meditated, doing this fucking video for you gentlemen on here. Once my wife wakes up, Daddy's going to go up there and make that motherfucking rack like I always motherfucking do. Done brush my fangs this morning. All this shit, right? Once once my wife gets up, the kids get up, I'm going to vacuum my living room and my fucking kitchen and shit. I have this daily routine I do every day. And all this shit is usually done before 7 a.m., gentlemen. All this shit before 7 a.m. And I'm ready to take on the fucking day and conquer it because I've been putting in the fucking work and giving effort. And that's all it takes. And you conquer one goal and you go on the next. You go on the next. You go on the next, right? The first one's that alarm clock, like they always say. Once that alarm clock goes off, bam, 
Get the fuck up. Get after it. Fuck that snooze fucking button. Let's fucking go. It's time to work. How lucky are we to be alive again today? That's what you need to be telling yourselves. Not I'm too tired. I don't feel like doing it. Nobody fucking cares. Again, nobody cares. I mean, I do care. We do care. But nobody cares about your whine, your bitch, and your moaning. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody wants to hear it. I know when I hear motherfuckers whining and bitching, I don't care. So I got to know that when I'm doing it, nobody gives a fuck either. And that's okay. That's all right. So a little food for thought this morning, gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoy these motherfucking morning coffee talks. And I hope you are putting in a little bit of effort. Because that's all it takes. Just fucking try, man. Just motherfucking try. You're going to fail. It's going to happen. I fail every fucking day multiple fucking times. But we get right the fuck back up and get right the fuck back to it. And we're going to try again. Fail, try. Fail, try. Fail, try. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep motherfucking working. Because you're worth it. And you can do it. If I can do it, I know you motherfuckers can do it. I know you can. I promise you, I know you can. Trust me, I ain't fucking special. And that's a fucking fact, Jack. No matter what anybody says, I am not fucking special. This life is not about me. I am not going to make it out alive. We ain't making it out alive. So let's put in some effort. Let's put it in today. Because tomorrow ain't coming, baby. Right? It's called the present moment. Because it's a motherfucking present. How lucky are we? Some people ain't that lucky. They ain't got the next hour. They ain't got the next day. It might be you. It might be me. All we got is right the fuck now. So let's put in some effort. Let's put in some work. Let's get the fuck up. And let's get the fuck after it, baby. Let's go. Now I'm motivated. Now I'm motivating my motherfucking self. Right? Because I always tell you guys on here, I am talking to you, but this is also self-talk. This is also talk to me. I'm looking myself in the motherfucking mirror when I say this shit on here to you gentlemen. Alright? Me too, baby. Me too. Work in progress. I ain't fucking special. I got all kinds of work to do. We're just getting started to fuck over here, baby. Alright? The men's moving has commenced. Are you in or you motherfucking out? Because we moving, baby. Choo-choo, bitch. Hop on or hop the fuck off. Because if you ain't about it, somebody else will. Somebody, there's somebody, there's a motherfucker out there want to take your family right now. Here's a motherfucker out there I'd rather take your wife right now. Huh? Think this shit's a game? Ain't no games over here, baby. I want you to think about that shit this morning, man. Get the fuck up. Let's get the fuck after it. I'm going to take a quick sip of my motherfucking coffee. Happy motherfucking Saturday. Let's go. Ah, baby. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this motherfucking morning coffee talk this morning. I love you all, man. God loves you more. Remember, be selfless. Be that instrument for God here on earth. Be selfless. Let's get rid of that motherfucking ego. And let's show this world how the fuck men are supposed to really be, baby. Ah, oh, let's go. Hell yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Cheers. And as always, go get you some, baby. Ah, oh, peace, guys. Have a great Saturday.